Nobody calls anyone anymore. At least I don't. But we do get calls in most of the world functions on calls. Sales, marketing, payments and a lot more happens on calls. We dodge so many spam calls and true caller has only made it easier for us to foresee who's calling you. It can feel slightly creepy as to how an application predicts who's calling you on the other line, but it's not all that creepy. On that note, in this episode of One Byte at a Time, we're going to look into the logic behind true caller and how it predicts who's calling you. Truecaller is essentially a mobile application that was created by True Software Scandinavia AB in 2009 that finds the mobile number details for people who are using the application or whose phone book contacts are synced. It also has an integrated caller ID service that helps with call blocking features and also social media integration to maintain the phone book. Truecaller's user community is what gives it the most power. For example, while registering for the first time, the app seeks for permission to upload your entire contact list. The uploaded contact information is then combined with the phone number database that already exists with them. Once registered, you can search through Truecaller's database either by using a phone number or a name to pull up related contact details. If you give the phone number, you can find out the related contact number for free. However, you need a premium subscription to find out a person's phone number just by using name to get the related contact details linked with it. But for this, both of you need to be using Truecaller. How is Truecaller's caller ID different than any other? Since its release in 2009, Truecaller's caller ID has been receiving positive reviews in its reliability to finding known, unknown and unwanted callers. Truecaller's user community has helped the application identify and block 37.8 billion spam calls and 182 billion spam messages in 2021 alone. Unlike any other caller ID applications, today's Truecaller gives you color-specific caller IDs that could distinguish between regular, important, spam and business calls. Also, you can block or even stop calls from these numbers which are suspicious or spam callers or even scammers. The caller ID is smartly designed to figure out who's calling you even if that number is not stored in your contact box. Now, the important question is, how does it know that? Let me give you an example here. Say you brought a pet home. Now it's time for you to decide what name you want to give it. But you can't seem to figure out what you want to name it. So you go around asking your friends and family for suggestion. You end up picking that one name that is most relevant or ideal for your pet. Now think of yourself as a true caller and your pet as one of the users. To simply put this, the application goes through multiple users database and finds the common name from the call that you are getting currently in span of seconds. The tech behind Truecaller's caller ID. The Truecaller application doesn't request additional data or permissions from the users to minimize data collection. Also, the Truecaller application only merges the phone book data with its application with the user's permission for a seamless texting and a calling experience. If the users have been proposed a name, the name associated with the number will be chosen according to the user profiles or crowdsourced names. Additionally, you can specify how you appear on the caller ID by filling out your name after you register on the application. The user community's suggestions which are made through the application or the website are also considered by the application while choosing a contact name to display. For instance, if a call is received from a caller ID which is actually an insurance spam number and it shows up as insurance spam on your caller ID, that basically means most people in the user community have saved it or reported it as such. After gathering user data through the process of crowdsourcing, Truecaller uses machine learning to analyze the data find correlation between them and to suggest better names and surnames for each person. Finally, when you receive a call, Truecaller takes that number and puts it in the database and shows you the most relevant caller name for that particular number. The recipient must have Truecaller app installed with an active internet connection, either 3G, 4G or Wi-Fi to perform live caller identification. The functionality of Truecaller on iOS and Android however slightly differs from each other. The caller will receive a caller ID notification with the incoming call if he is an Android user. However, in the case of iOS, 
the recipient will only receive the caller id if the caller has dialed using true caller dialer on an iphone so this was the logic behind how true caller works and how it identifies the calls you are receiving if you want us to decode any other application that you use in your day to day life drop them in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep receiving more insights with scalers one byte at a time